Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. You know, as we're coming to an end of ALS month, Awareness Month, I have decided to set out um, a record of trying to get a bunch of petitions out to the House of Commons. Of course, House of Commons is closing this week, um, so it won't reopen again until September. So that's why I put a challenge to my team and ALS, the 18 MPs I have, I've sent them petitions, and hopefully they'll send it back to their ridings. I will, I'll name them below in the, in the, uh, in the post here, but also, I am now extending a challenge out to you. I, our goal here is to try and get 100 petitions to the government by the time the house reopens in September. If we can do that, we'll make sure that ALS will not be um, a forgotten disease like it seems to be right now, and we'll make sure the government is going to hear us no matter what. So how am I challenging you? Well, firstly, every petition that comes in, I will make sure that someone gets a bucket of ice water and dumps it over my head, and we'll keep track of the petitions we're getting all summer long, and I'm sure the humidity here in Ottawa will actually make it quite refreshing at the same time, getting dunked with ice water. So every petition will keep you updated on how many petitions we're getting in by dunking a bunch of ice water on top of my head, which I'm sure my friends here in Ottawa will be happy to do. And um, so, yeah, we're sending that challenge to you. Additionally, um, we're going to need roughly over 2,500 signatures to um, get the 100 petitions we need. So, my, so the person who can collect the most uh, signatures uh, throughout the summer, I will donate $250 to a charity of their choice. And this is now extension to the member of parliament. If a member of parliament ends up getting the most signatures, I will donate two hundred fifty dollars to your campaign or EDA. So there is a bit of incentive here to try and get as many signatures as you can. If we reach over um, one hundred petitions, even better. So, but I'll make sure to keep all of you updated while I dunk ice water over my head while well, other people are doing it for me over my head here in Ottawa all summer long I'll be and also I'd like to thank MP Arnold Viersen and his office for his help and support in helping create these petitions and they'll be also the ones receiving them so I'll be working with them um, with uh, attempting to get these petitions out and hopefully we will have 100 petitions to present to the government by the time the house sits so right when they get back in they're not going to be able to relax. We're going to push the pressure on them right away when they get back to the House of Commons. And if they think that it's going to be smooth sailing from our end, boy, do they not know what's coming. So we're going to make sure we're heard. ALS patients are heard across country. And um, yeah, I'll also put my email address in the post as well. If you'd like to receive a petition to help join the challenge, help get some ice water on my head over the summer, and of course have a chance to win $250 to the charity of your choice, then send me an email. We'll make sure and make sure to follow the instructions that we give you because there's a specific way these have to be sent just for the House of Commons sake. So help us join the challenge, join Team and ALS in this amazing challenge to get a 100 petitions to the government as quickly as we can. And let's make sure ALS is heard and uh, let's make sure together we end ALS. All right, looking forward to it.